Hey everyone, so I wonder if you can uh, hear me with all of the noise, the wind, the breeze, the leaves rustling. And if it's possible to make a video here today with you and me. <laughs> okay, so I'll give it a shot. One second. And there is my tripod. Alright folks, so that's, that's that. I've done my best. Looks like the cows have gone. So let's roll and wrap, the, wrap up the video to begin with. So in this video, my heart is most inspired. Out of the two videos that are on my mind, what I'm most inspired to talk about now is learning how to be happy. In today's world, we've sort of been taught all the wrong mental habits of how to, to get unhappy. So we're thinking about the problem all the time, not our vision. It's all about our vision and working towards our dream and our vision in our head, using our creativity, our imagination, and not thinking about what we don't want. A typical example is anxiety, hopelessness, fear. You're thinking and preoccupied with what you don't want. The, the thing happening, the future, it's all wrong, it's all not good for you. So obviously that breeds hopelessness, fear, anxiety, even depression. So the opposite is to get inspired by looking and seeing your vision. For me, it was good health, running again, fitness, six pack, abs, muscles, toned, um, having a happier relationship, happy, getting on well, uh, getting on great, seeing my partner really happy instead of stressed or upset, um, having more money. Uh, it feels good to think about this stuff and then it brings you on to automatically to how are you going to, what's the solution, how are you going to get this stuff. So it's creating a positive ball rolling forward in your life instead of a total like pointless negative spiel story vision you have on in your head that doesn't do any good at all so it's like completely fruitless what's the point of thinking what you don't want all the time or even like much of the time maybe a little bit of the time just so you can realize hey listen i don't want that or like that at all so hey i'm not going to think about that anymore and i'm going to like steer towards my vision so that's the purpose of uh t spending a few moments to, to to know what you don't want you don't really need to think about what you don't want too much you feel it emotionally. You know this feels bad. I don't like this. I don't like being like treated. I don't like when someone's like all stressed around me, and then uh, they they might take it out of me a little bit. Especially if I have a lot of my own shadow and unhealed parts and projections and accusations and assumptions about them. Because usually when we have these, we are just thinking and blaming the other person. But really, we have so much to blame or to take responsibility for ourselves so you just we play the victim instead of being an empowered creator and it's fun to be an empowered creator it's not fun to be blaming another person and giving your power away saying it's their fault my life is bad it's your fault this relationship is bad it's really your fault as well relationship that is good. You have to take responsibility. Are you absolutely pure angelic? Absolutely wise? If you're not, and none of us are, we're probably making a lot of so-called mistakes and contributing to a lot of negativity and unhappiness in our relationship. And our beloved partner who we're supposed to be loving deeply and carefully. Similarly, let's say you don't have a job or you want more money. Little, little fly, flying in the camera. Well, maybe you could get, have your vision. What do you want? Then get inspired and maybe apply for a million jobs or start your own company or apply for work experience. Put up advertisements, ring people, write letters, get active. Vision plus persistence equals manifestation of your vision of your dream vision plus persistence equals manifestation remember that 
So you have to have your vision and you have to be persistent. And that goes for relationships, money, health. Keep chipping away and making positive results, little by little. It doesn't matter if you make mistakes or fall, just learn from them. Get back up again and go forward happily, merrily, with gratitude. I actually made this video here so you can see the cows, but after the beginning they went away again. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo! Woo yeah, they're far. They're up there now. Let's see if I can show you. Well, actually this is a bit big, but maybe I could take it off. Yoink. Let's go up here. This is a hawthorn tree, which is like the leaves can be used in soaking the berries and it's good for your cardiovascular system, your heart, and also um, it's really good for a high blood pressure. So if you have low blood pressure, you shouldn't... Wait a minute. It's good for low blood pressure, I think. Oh, damn it, I can't remember. It's good for one or the other, so you shouldn't use it if you have one of them. And you should use it if you have the other. So here I am, see? So anyway, guys, send you loads of love. There's a whole lot of cows over there. I don't know if you can see them. It's like I was thinking of making the video over there to begin with, but then I saw these and they're so much closer. Send you love. Hope this video helped. I know it's not a complete story, but can't be can't be talking forever. You know, I have things to do. Uh, I do count client coaching in person, and I'm trying to busy writing my second book. So I try to make these videos little free little like add-ons. I like to make them. It's fun. It's nice to connect. Love you guys. I love your appreciation. Thanks for your love, care and support in my life, my partner's life. I hope this really helped you in your life, even though it was kind of like just, you know, a short enough video. But I got the message across and I think the message is clear, you know. Take responsibility for your life, anything you don't like, and change it. And be happy by thinking happy thoughts. That's the other simple thing. Like, it's so obvious. If you're thinking sad or thoughts and you don't want to be sad, which is the outcome, change the goddamn thoughts. <laughs> Honestly though, can you see how simple this is? So you're breaking a habit from society, the media, the negative, everything. And you're making happiness the most important thing in your life. A high, high, a high happiness, not a pure, dead, selfish, mean happiness, but a selfish happiness. But not a mean happiness, a selfish, positively high selfishness of happiness but where where that's where others are really included too you're neither walk over nor mean but you're selfish as in you care about you care about your happiness and so you should and you thrive and when you thrive you can share your thrivingness with other people fill your cup and keep filling it and you'll have more to share Wow, windy, eh? So, if you want any coaching with me, go check out my links. If you want to see any of my um, my herbal products, superfood stuff, my my herb shop, do have a look below, higherselfherbs.com. Isn't that a beautiful ring to it? <laughs> and it could really help you that way if you have the spare money. Uh, if you have the money and you want my personal help, check it out. And. Uh, yeah, just see what's below. I have a few goodies, different things for different people in my description box below the video. And I'll leave you with that. And I love you with that. I respect you and I care for you. That's what love is. I care properly for you. Like you're my, my son and my daughter. My, my mum and my dad. My brother and my sister. At least getting close to that, you know. <laughs> uh, That's what it's about. Don't forget, when you die, you care for love and kindness, not for successes and fame and materials. You don't take them with you. So remember the important things in life. Remember relationships. Remember your heart and your heart chakra. And these is, this is corresponding with the name of the video, learning how to be happy. It doesn't matter what happened in your past. That was part of your soul's choice. And it's here for you to use as a, as, a, as a piece of coal to turn into a diamond. And now, fine-tuning yourself is polishing your diamond that you are. 
And that's what I love to do in life, to become better than I was before. Not than other people, only than the way I was before. And that, someone says, is a Carl Jung, the privilege of a lifetime is realizing who you truly are. Something like that. And who you are is the polished diamond. But you've come into this lifetime as the brick. And the privilege is, the joy is, to sculpt yourself whatever way you want to be. And if you decide to sculpt yourself to be the beautiful statue, the sculpture, the diamond, to fine tune and improve yourself little by little, life just becomes more and more of a happy joy. Better and better. And still it'll always challenge you and have ups and downs because what good is, a, is an amazing thing if it doesn't have a contextual world, an environment of different things, of contrast, to challenge and to show who you are, to experience who you are in relation to everything else. And that's the joy, that's the best part. Because you get to show and experience who you are. And that is God, that is Source, that is all that is. That is all that is experiencing itself as you, as God, as God, through you. You as it, you are it, and it is experiencing and knowing itself as you and through you, through every part. So God expands as we expand, and God isn't made, it's becoming. I'll leave you with that. Send you love and kisses. Take care. God bless. Have an amazing day. And create yourself to be all that you want to be. And that's your free will choice. Take care. Bye. Oh, what the hell are they doing there? With the old sex going on there. Anyway, I'll, I'll go before there's a stampede. <laughs> this is cool. Send you love. Thanks for coming over. You're big. You're bigger than me. You're beautiful, aren't you? Yes, you are. Beautiful. Ah. Such pretty animals. Have a good day, guys. <laughs> See ya.